Hello, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. I wanted to share with you this video. I am about to put all of my Christmas decorations away. I know it's pretty late, but it wasn't until someone asked me if I decorate our home for the season, even though we have a different home than most people. If you're new to our channel, we live in a, a 40 foot motor home class a and we're a family of five it's my husband myself and three girl teenagers that live with us we are pastors our daughters also are in the ministry and we mostly are local but we do travel quite a bit so living in an rv has made it so much easier for our lifestyle to be able to do both and well i'm about to put all of my christmas decorations away and when that person asked me if I decorated it, and if I did, could I share some of that? And if it's something you're interested, that if I do decorations or do something different to our home, and you would like to see how we do this and show you how I decorate our home or how we live in it, please give us a thumbs up and give us a comment that yes, this is something it would interest you um, that I could share with you. So let's begin by showing you how I decorated our home and I will also share with you where I got them and how much I paid for them. So thank you. Please follow along as I show you our home. I'm going to begin in the front area of the RV. On, the, on this side, we have the driver's seat and that side is the passenger side. And this is the recliner that does not move. It's always there, but it uh, turns to the right or the left or the middle, which we really enjoy. So this is the first uh, Christmas tree. The first thing I'm gonna show you is our Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree that we got for our home. It's not very tall, but it's not very small. And we absolutely love the snow look on it. It did not have the lights. It was some fairy lights that I had at home and I just added to it. And right now I have it with a frame of our family. And uh, we have a lamp that I got at Walmart and I have that mailbox that I got from Ross. But that Christmas tree, when I got it, it was $39.95, I believe, at Target. When you come in our home, this is the first thing that you look at, the sofa. It's a sleeper sofa but this is the way I decorated behind the sofa. That area that is behind the sofa came with the RV and I love it because I put our spare blankets and pillows for extra guests. But this is our Christmas decorations that we have. This snowflake on the left and this snowflake on the right, I got it at Target two years ago and I believe I paid $3 for each. Then I got these little tin houses. They're different sizes and they came with its own tea light, uh, battery operated, and I love that. Well, uh, this little tin house was $5 at Target. This narrow medium size one was $8 at Target. And this larger home, tin home, was ten dollars at target i did get two different sizes of christmas tree with the snow on it i really like that effect and that's how i decorated our around our home and the taller one was five dollars and the little one was three dollars let me give you a shot how it looks without any lights this is the way it looks without any house lights except the one from the dining room but they light up so pretty uh, during christmas time i would put some christmas music on and i would make some hot chocolate and we'd just lounge here and watch christmas movies and it was just perfect for us this next items it is on our dinette and i have them corralled on that tray that I got about two or three years ago from Ross that I paid $8.99 for it. It's wooden with white distress. I got that Christmas tree 
for $3 at Target. I got that bear from Target and it was three or five dollars, I don't remember, and the ceramic tea light house was from Target for five dollars. I got those glitter Christmas trees from Hobby Lobby. They were $7.99, but I they were 50% off, so I paid $3.50 or $4.50 for them. And then I got this bread of life, which is a ceramic uh, bread that it's in Spanish and it has some cards on it with a memory verse from the Bible that we absolutely love when we sit here and have our dinner. This next section, it is on our coffee bar, which I corral on this tray that I got at Pure One uh, maybe last year. And uh, and I have my Keurig machine there, and I have this lit up star, which I absolutely love. It's so cute. And then I have that little ceramic uh, house on top of a stand. Both the little house and the stand, I got them at Target. And the star, I got it at Target, and I believe it was eight or nine dollars. I have my sugar and creamer containers which I got at the dollar store maybe three, four years ago and I still have them. I also have this container. It came like that with the three little buckets in the tray and it had white berry, I mean red berries. And then I really wanted to change them to white berries. So I went to the dollar store and I got the white berries and I just stuck it in there. And I believe it gives it just the perfect look of what I am looking for for my coffee bar area. And that is the way it looks. Last but not least, I have this ceramic tea light house next to my little plant that I normally keep in this area right next to my sink. And I just think it gives it such a pretty feel to it in the kitchen. I also got this hand towel that I'm thinking about leaving maybe all year round because it's blue and most of the items that I have is blue and it would just stay there for decorating purposes. I have this candle, it's a coffee candle which I love to use right after I finish cooking. It cancels the smells and I also have that family sign that does not move from there because I have it ticky tack on it. So I travel and it doesn't fall or move.